Hey guys, here Crafted here, and this is my tutorial for my AFK Soul Sand Generator. And this is completely automatic, you don't have to do anything to it once it's built. It's just done, and you just come back every so often and pick up all the soul sand you need. It's like super fast, once you make this, soul sand will never be a problem again. So it, it is, I would say, mid tier for Sky Factory. You could make it much bigger, or you can make it much smaller. I've gone for this medium sized one, which makes more soul sand than what you'll probably need. So, yeah, it's definitely worth making if you have the resources. Now, to make this, you will need a few things, and in the description, I'll be putting all the main components that you need to make this. But as you can see, just looking here, that you're going to need some auto hammers, six auto hammers, at least five magmatic generators, and the crucibles, but these are easy to get, a sink, which is easy to get. Uh, lots of wooden barrels, which again, they're easy to get, and mycelium, which again is really easy to get. But the only hard things really would be to get all these cables and fluid pipes, fluid conduits, sorry. But even then, once you get them going, they're really easy to get. So there's nothing in this that's like impossibly hard to get, and now it's raining, which is annoying. So yeah, let's just jump right into the tutorial, I thought. Okay, so the first thing to do is get a 12 by 12 platform made of any material you want. I'm using concrete just because I like the way it looks, but you can use just whatever you stowed wood or whatever. And I recommend that when you're making this, you make another platform underneath, since there's a few pipes under that you have to get to. So if underneath you just make like another platform, just you can stand under and place pipes or not. Just it'll just make life a little bit easier for you. And next thing, once you get this 12 by 12 area done, is you want to dig out an 8 by 4 area over from this corner. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By one, two, three, four. And you just want to dig all this out. And you'll want to put dirt down. And then use ancient spores to turn it into mycelium. And you get ancient spores. Ooh, uh, if I get this one, out oh, this other way, there we go. You get this from, in, in your sieve, if you sieve sand with either an iron or a diamond mesh, there's a chance you'll get ancient spores, which when you right click on a piece of dirt with them, turns into mycelium. And you'd only actually need one mycelium to do this, and then it'll spread on the dirt as if it's like grass. So that should be like really easy for you to get, even if you don't have uh, the diamond uh, mesh yet. So once you have this down, so you should have enough space for 32 barrels, since 8, 16, 24, 32, which is, I thought was a nice uh, round number hover stack. You just want to place all your barrels on top, uh, where they will soon get filled with water. So how this works is, these will get filled with water from the sink that's over here, and then the sand generated from the auto hammers will uh, put the sand inside, where it turns into salt sand, then they'll come out into the jaws or your chest or whatever you want them to go in. So the next thing we want to, want to do is get these full of water. So if you grab a sink, which is really easy to make, if you go on, you know, I think it's like a bit of iron, a chest and a bucket of water, something like that. I can just put this anywhere really, I'm just going to put it, let's say here for now. And you connect them up, you're going to get your fluid tanks, or you can use the, uh, I think the transfer pipes are called. Uh, if, if these are a bit, these are a little bit cheaper and easier to make than uh, the air fluid conduits and they work just as well but um, I prefer fluid conduits because they're a little bit easier to use so get all these on I think you want to cover every single one of them since we want every single one of them filled in with water perfect and so now if we click on here click on extract without a redstone signal we'll see these will start filling with water and that just goes in forever, you don't need to refill this, put water buckets in. That is an infinite source of water, there forever. And that will really fast fill these up. So that's pretty much the first part of this done. So the next part we're going to do is work on the making the sand board. Okay, so next what we need to do is make the sand, like I just said. So to make the sand, we're going to be hammering cobblestone into gravel, and the gravel in, then the gravel will be made into sand, which we use for the barrels. So to power the hammers, we're using magmatic generators, and which these are gonna get lava from the crucibles, which are also getting cobblestone from the cobblestone generator. So it all works out in like a nice round circle. So you wanna go one, two, three, four, five from the edge, and come in one and place your cobblestone generator. Then you're gonna count two blocks in the third, make this two by two hole. And I'm using the nether rock to make an infinite source of fire, but if you don't wanna use nether rock because you don't have it yet, although it should be really easy to get, it's just a stone barrel with lava in, 
and one piece of redstone on top to get another rug. And then, yep, you want to do this. And then get your crucible and have four of these guys on top, nice and easy. Then if we get our item conduits and just connect it up, so it will be feeding cobblestone into these. And just so it looks a bit nicer, uh, I'll change the wrench, there we go, we'll get rid of that. So you want the arrow within these pointing down, since we want to insert a cobblestone into the crucible, like that. And on this it should be automatically on redstone mode, we want it on activate without signal. So these should be filling up, as you can see they are. So now that's going to be making lava, and we want the lava transported, like over here, from the crucibles into the magma generators. So it will just come like this, like so, and we'll get rid of this pipe here. So now we want to get some fluid pipes and insert the lava out of the crucibles into the magmatic generators, like this. And now that that's all hooked up, we want to make sure that these are in insert mode by right clicking on the fluid pipes with your Yeta wrench and making sure the arrow, the blue arrow inside is pointing into the generator otherwise this won't work. And now you can't use, if you get, uh, you want to actually right click on it this time and it should automatically go on the item conduits but you want to click on here and to the fluid conduits on extract mode and activate without signal. I want to go on that for all four of them otherwise the lava will not come out of the crucible. And then on this last one here the same. Okay so this should be making power now. So if we check inside here, you see, see the lava 2732, it's slowly going up. And then once it gets enough lava in, it'll start making power. But it's going to take a while to uh, fill up. So while that's filling up, we can do the rest of it. So as you can see over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six hammers. And that's uh, just so we can make enough sand to fill up faster than the water's being transformed into witch water, which is what we need to make soil sand. So if you come over here and we go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now this will automatically connect up with these two, which is really good for us actually because we want cobblestone going into them. So if we change into insert mode, these should get cobblestone inside. Although this one will fill up first and then that one will fill up once this one's in 64. Yep, as you can see. So then if we punch down here and we go underneath. We want to uh, get into our last hammer since it's not getting filled up, so that should be the third one. So if you get an item conduit and just run that from underneath and then connect it up here. And then we want to make sure this is on insert mode to put the uh, cobblestone inside. So if we come back to the top, that should have cobblestone going in like it does, yep. So now we want to power these hammers and, uh, to get us hammering and it's, this will not be anywhere near full yet but we can use it while it's charging up. But we're not gonna connect them up yet. First we'll get us all in this mix gravel. We want the gravel to go into here so we can turn the gravel into sand. And we should uh, print this out like this since we'll be putting more item conduits inside. But they're, not, they're, not, they're gonna be connected up a little bit different. So if you put on insert mode, put insert on brown instead of green. Are we gonna do that? Oh, oh sorry. You want to put these on insert on brown for all three of these going into the second set of hammers. So insert into brown. And these might have cobblestone in from when we were changing it, from when it was on green for a couple of seconds. That's fine. So we want to put uh, these on like this. It looks a little bit messy, I know, but uh, it is needed. So now this is actually on insert mode. We, we want it on in and out. So we want to insert on green since green is cobblestone. And if you click on this arrow, we're going to extract. And we want to extract brown, since brown means sand, uh, gravel for this. So it's going to be extracting the brown. So the brown goes in here. And so uh, since gravel is coming out of it, the gravel basically means brown. So you want this uh, on extract only, I think. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to extract brown from it and activate without signal. Did I put this on activate without signal? Yeah, I did. So the same on this one, we want on extract. Yep, extract brown without signal. And so these should fill up with gravel. Oh, they will when this gets powered and it's also making uh, gravel. So we might as well connect the power up to them now. So I'll just grab some uh, conduits from over here. I'm using uh, enhanced energy conduits 
but you can use them, um, I think they're called first cables. You can use these or you can use second cables, which are uh, quite decent for, for getting RF across if uh, you can't afford to make the enhanced energy conduits. But if you can't get these, then definitely these things go through a lot better. So if we get this all nicely set up, and we want to put power into these hammers. And the great thing about Endo IO is you can put these on as well as the item conduits and it'll just take up the same amount of space. So if you just connect this up like that, and then this should have power, as you can see, like that. So this should make some gravel, which it does, and then that should be transferred into one of these, I think. Oh, it's because it's, it's getting used, so that's making sand. So it's actually making sand now for us, and this sand is supposed to be going into the witch water to make soul sand. So if you get like a drawer or something, you can connect this straight up to the barrels, but I think it's better to have something, like, like a middleman, if, if you will, to uh, make things a little bit easier. So we're going to get all the sand to go into the barrel, and then we'll get from the barrel into the... Uh, so we'll go sand into the drawer, then the drawer into the barrels. Yeah, that, that's it. So these are currently on insert only. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, you know, that, that doesn't make a difference. If I just empty the sand. So we want on here, this square here, it's only on insert. We want it on in and out basically, but we're going to do that in a minute. In fact, so yeah, we're going to punch under here just to make things look nice. I'm going to uh, and get rid of some of this stuff now, really. Uh, so I'll grab an item conduit and we want to put this on an insert mode. And this sign we want to put on blue since blue is going to mean sand. So we're going to uh, get under these guys and put them on in and out. So this brown going in, since the brown means gravel, we want to go out on blue, since blue means sand. So we want to do that in all three of them. So if you go back, I think, so insert brown, extract blue without a red sun signal. And the same on the last one. Go back to insert in brown, extract on blue with a red sun signal. Without a red sun signal, sorry. And then if we just connect these up, like that, this should fill up with sand, which it does, which is brilliant. Exactly what we wanted. So now we want to put a bunch of item conduits on top of all these barrels, so we can insert the sand on. And this is going to take a few minutes. Oh no, it's raining. I'm going to skip this anyway, so I'll, I'll, I'll go through the first four, so you can see how it should look like. So if you pick, place them on, and just put them on insert mode. And let's pick a new colour for this as well, actually. So the next colour, we'll just use blue. So we want to put this on purple now which makes sense since the water's purple as well, so it kind of fits in nicely. So you just want to put uh, I uh, item conduits, that's right, on every single barrel and put it on insert on purple. And then once you've done that, we'll come back. And um, just do that one. So yeah, on every single barrel will do that, and we'll come back in two minutes. Alright, so once that's done, and these are all on insert mode on purple, we can take our item conduits and connect them up here. Now, this will automatically touch this if you just click on it twice with a wrench, you'll get rid of it. And you can do that here as well, just to make it look a bit nicer. And we want to go and extract, which is right. We want to put on purple, without red sun signal. And this will start turning on the salt sand, which means our system's working. So now what you want is somewhere for the salt sand to go. So if we put another drawer here, and this is when it gets a little bit annoying, because we have to go back around all these. Since that was just a test to make sure that all the salt sand will work, and this is going to work nicely. So now we have to get all the salt sand to go into the straw. So if you click like this, we want this on uh, insert mode. And let's just make this the next colour, which is cyan. So we want to go back in all these and go on in and out. Now it will automatically stay on insert and purple, so you don't have to do that again. But it does mean you go put extract on cyan without a resonance signal and do that on every single one as well. So it's not actually much extra work for the purple bits since uh, it, it'll automatically stay on purple for in, so it makes our life a little bit easier. So in and out, next on extract, on cyan, and without signal. As you can see, it already puts it into this, uh, the drawer. So yeah, we know it definitely works if this is getting filled with soul sand. So yeah, that's pretty much all you know for this bit. But so let's skip over to when I've put all these on, in and out mode. Uh, so yep, in slash out, extract, on purple, and I'll see you in two minutes. Alright, so once that's all set up, this will all be pretty much done now, and the tutorial is pretty much finished, so this will be automatically 
making sounds, going into the barrel, into the ritual and making those sounds are being took out and put into the straw. Now this will get full really fast, I've got over two stacks from just while I was changing the pipes over. So yeah, I, I think I got these pretty much up, these up. well, I finished, I filled these up and these are starting to get a little bit full up. Well that one's over 24 stacks in. I only just put the straw on as I started making this tutorial and I've only been making it now for about half an hour. So yeah, it will get up full up really fast. But if you have to, if you have the diamond spare, you don't actually have to use diamond hammers, you could even use stone hammers or iron hammers if you want to. And it can just make this really fast. And, and like I said before, this is totally optional. It just means it'll be a little bit better. And the form will be faster. Like this. I've got one spare that I put them all in. Nope, oh, I'm just out, that's alright. So yeah, so this makes it about maybe five times faster. And it'll get sand a lot faster. So, and it just means always this isn't being wasted whatsoever because the main annoying bit it can, you can see transforming. You don't want to be waiting for the transform and then have a transform and then be waiting for sand since that would be the worst thing. Even if you can't get like uh, two diamond hammers and get one in each one, will still make it a little bit better. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. This should make you all the soul sand you'll possibly need. And once it's done, it's done. You don't have to go back to it unless you're getting the materials or you're upgrading it which obviously you can do by adding more barrels and more of any of this stuff. But if you did enjoy this tutorial and you found it useful, I would really appreciate it if you did leave a like and subscribe for some more tutorials. And if you did uh, find it useful, I'm also got this obsidian generator tutorial, which is just as fast and useful and gets me a crap ton of obsidian really fast. So I'll recommend watching that if you play Sky Factory as well. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!